That was really cool, right? Yeah, this is not a clickbait. You can't really make hyperlapses with your Mavic Mini. It just takes a bit more time to make them. Today I will show you step by step just how you can do that. So, uh, stay tuned. This tutorial was inspired by this guy, maybe someday. That is his channel name, go check him out. He did this uh, space elevator effect with his Mavic 2 Pro. It's basically a hyperlapse. Let's go and make that hyperlapse. The idea is I'll be taking off from this parking space. I'll be doing a climb and a slight rotation. So the trick here is to do it very slowly. Uh, slowly and steady. You can use histogram and uh, diagonals and center point as your guides. I'll be testing out the uh, cinematic mode because it's supposed to be uh, slower. How do you make hyperlapses with the Mavic Mini? Quite simple. There's the interval mode, so you can take photos every 1, 2, 3, 5, 10 seconds. And that is just what we are going to use today. So the idea is to fly very, very slowly and uh, to lock something in your view. So I'll be locking uh, like the middle part of this building. So I'll be rotating, flying up, rotating and also tilting down the camera a bit. Just remember to keep it in center. Also, you don't have to be uh, that perfect because later in post we shall be editing. The trick here is to lock your fingers in, a, in one position and just keep them there. This is a skill you will learn if you, if you will fly every day for a very long time. So yeah, lock in your fingers. Oh god, it's quite windy. I should probably get those drone pilot gloves. Now let's go back to the studio. All right, we are back in the studio, so let's get into the process of making this hyperlapse. Let's open up this. Let's take all of the, like, control all. You take the first one and you drag it to this icon so it makes a new sequence with all of the photos with the same resolution as the photos are. Now, all of the photos are like, four seconds long and we don't need that. We need them to be one frame long. So let's control all again and uh, right click and then speed duration. We'll just delete this five, type in a zero and click this checkbox, ripple edit shifting trailing clips. So uh, it will just delete all of the free, uh, all of the spaces between the clips. So every, every frame will be just one uh, frame long and all of the spaces will be deleted. So what we have is uh, Some sort of a hyperlapse already, but it's all shaky We don't need that. We need it to be smooth. So how do we make it smooth? Actually very simple We control all again. We nest this into a new sequence. Let's just name this render one and now right click on the render one nested sequence and replace with After Effects composition. We shall be stabilizing it in After Effects. So uh, yeah, that is why that's that. Okay, once we are in After Effects, let's click Stabilize Motion. Let's uh, drag this box onto a high contrast area that will be in the frame throughout the whole shot so uh, so this part here is in the shot at all times so we'll be tracking this the bigger you make this box the longer it will take to render out also the bigger the box the more precise the tracking is and if it like like now you, you saw uh, if it goes like off a bit increase the size of the box Increase the size of this box and just play again. And it should stay now on top of it, as it should be. So if it glitches out, just go back a few frames 
and uh, increase the box size or decrease the box size. Don't move the box around because that will result in a glitchy stabilized uh, video. So let's get back when this is finished and we'll see what happens. So after the processing is done in After Effects you press apply and then it should look something like this. So yeah, it's pretty cool, right? But this is, this is how it should look when it's slightly finished. So we zoom in and it just like goes up and down. And if you want this sequence to loop, just click on this wrench thing and click on loop. And now if you press play, it will be looping forever and ever pretty cool right so yeah it's looping so how do we do this part it's actually quite easy so we will take one of our renders this is with this this is the other one I made after that building so let's take this render let's go to let's make a new sequence let's do a 1080p sequence and let's use this, keep existing settings and then let's scale to the size that is always filled with information. So I think I should start from here because the beginning is a bit choppy. So to make it loop, all you gotta do is alt click, then drag it so it duplicates. Let's see what we just made. Cool, right? And we have all the traffic moving there, all the good stuff. Amazing. So that is the space elevator effect, the drone space elevator effect. Again, this is not, uh, I didn't think of this. I got inspired by maybe someday. So this guy made this amazing tutorial on how to do it. I really, really enjoyed it uh, and got inspired. And here I am making, <laughs> making the same effect. It's pretty cool. What can I say? Use diagonals with the center point. Be very slow. The slower you are, the more smoother the move will be. And also the slower you are and the smoother you are, the more easily it will be for After Effects to stabilize this footage afterwards. So. Just be patient, be slow and steady. And the slower you will be doing this move, the more time will pass and uh, the more dramatic the um, effect will be. So uh, it's a very cool effect. I do enjoy it a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please smash that like button because that helps me a lot to get this video to broader audiences. And I think people should know about this effect. People should know about maybe someday because People should know about these things and please make people know. And if you enjoyed how this video looks, you can get my lookup table pack. It's uh, actually quite cheap. It's only $5. You can get it from the link in the description. Also the card should show up right now. And if you want the lot pack for free, then go to my Instagram account, follow me there and also post a comment on the latest drone uh, elevator thing. I will choose three lucky winners from all of the uh, drone elevator posts and the three lucky winners will win the lot pack as well as uh, you can get it for free if you become my patreon so go to my patreon page link in the description become my patreon and you will get the lot pack for free and also i already have one patreon and i want to say thanks to him i thought i'll start saying thanks to all my patreons so uh patreon with the name name named Lucas. So named Lucas, thank you so much for being my Patreon. I hope you're enjoying the lot pack you got for free. And again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.